Hey guys, it's Liz again, back with another makeup look. And this time, I wanted to experience this a new makeup look because I have never done this because you guys show your love and support to me and I wanted to experience this with you guys and um, it's something totally new to me and I hope you guys liked it and I, I enjoyed creating this look and I hope you guys enjoy watching it and if you guys did, you guys know give it a thumbs up and if you guys are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel to see more videos like this and thank you so if you guys want to keep on watching to see how i got this look then keep on watching using the milani runway eyes fashion eyeshadow and this is i believe the shade is the 18 complimentary big eyeshadow you guys can see but I don't know what I'm trying to do like a smoky blue eye right here like a blue smoky night out something um but yeah we'll get started if you, I'm gonna swatch these colors for you guys can see they are pigmented they are they're really pigmented I, the only thing I don't like about this is you can't really get your brushes in there so these are the colors on my arm and they are pigmented as you can see they are pigmented but I feel like they're a little chalky. I find them chalky. I don't know. We'll see. And they do have shimmer. They all have shimmer. Even the darkest shade, which is like this black shade right here, has shimmer. And this brown shade has shimmer. They all have a shimmer in them. In, in the color. And we'll see how this comes out. So, we'll try something new today. Usually, I just do like neutrals and like that. But I'm also going to use my Modern Renaissance palette to, um, like the shades I'm going to use on my Modern Renaissance, Renaissance palette will be this color right here, this shade right here, and this cypress shade right here. Just because I do not like the dark shade because it does have shimmer and I have tried it on. And I don't like the shimmery darkness. I don't like shimmer in the dark colors. And I have another palette of the Milani ones. And this is this is the counterfeit palette. And you can see it's already run down. I think this is my first palette an eyeshadow palette ever. And the dark, the black right here is not a shimmer, which I probably who knows maybe I'll use this one instead of the other one and these got wasted as you can tell and the rest of them. this was like my first palette and then I got this one because I wanted to try something different so we're gonna use this one and we'll see if I use this dark shade the only bad thing about this palette is that it does not show you it doesn't have a name for each six shadows so to start off the look, I'm going to be priming my lids because I do have um, big pores on my lids. I have big pores on my lids. I'm going to prime my lids with the Professional. The Professional by Benefit. And, um, and I really like this because it does cover your pores. I'm gonna use my <clears throat> concealer. My, oh, let me just grab my hair. I'm gonna use my concealer to conceal the, dark, the darkness of my eyes. And I find the concealer works. You don't need it. If you have a eye primer, use it and to your ability. And if you don't, then just use concealer. It works the same. using my fingers and it works this way and to set my concealer I'm gonna be using the shade like I said from the modern renaissance palette and I like this shade because it does set my product and it is a pigmented 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 um shade It's really pigmented. Well, I'm gonna use a clip because my hair keeps coming to my face and I don't like that. So I'm just using that shade just to um 
just set my concealer in. This does really set it in and it locks it in. So then I am going to use the, this golden shade right here. And set this in my crease. I'm going to use the same brush. Just to set, like, set my crease. Just for my crease to get some color and um, yeah, just to give some color to my crease. And they are pigmented, so you just need to dust off the excess. I'll be using my elf brush and just go in here and um. And the cypress color is going to go on my lid. This cypress color is going on my lid. Look at raccoon. It's okay. Oh, the lid came off. That's fine. Um. Okay, and for the, just to make these colors a little bit more pigmented, I'm going to spray my brush. Okay, so I'm just going to keep tapping on this. And to blend this color in, I'm going to use this, this and I'm going to use the Anastasia. It came in with the Modern Renaissance part. I don't like this because it's really fluffy and you can actually blend in your colors. And this gives it a nice blend to your... You just need to blend these colors in. Blend these colors to get a nice look. I'm just blending. It has no product. There's no product whatsoever. I'm just blending in the color. Just blending in. And this gives it more of a color shape. And then with this same brush, I'm just gonna take go in with this. Can you just want it a little bit more? Just gonna um get more of that golden color. And put that on my crease just for a more brown color or golden color. And then just took a little bit and I'm blending it. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna spray this. It's like a flat brush. It's a flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with this brush with this blue shade. And I'm going to spray it just to get a more of a pigmented color. Make it stand down. Make that blue stand out. You guys can see. Now that it's standing out. I'm not going to dust it off because I do want this color to stay pigmented. And I am going to just pat it. I'm going to pat this color on my lid. I'm just putting this, I'm applying this all over my lid. And you guys can see that shimmery. A shimmer on the, on the product. So sure. now I'm, I'm just so cutting sure. this. I try to find my voice because I lost it after years and years. And to get a perfect. And I like this because I'm applying a lot. I'm actually packing it up. And it's not like volume. Mm -hmm. 
And when I swatched these colors, they felt chalky. Now that I applied it on my lid, it doesn't feel chalky, it just feels like it's going in smooth. It's like blending it smoothly, it's not chalky. I think just when you swatch it, it is chalky. It has a chalky feeling, but it's not. When you blend it, it blends in very, very good. And it's pigmented, it's really pigmented. Look at that blue. This is just one coat. Shape. Just to smoke out the inner, the outer corners, just to give it a smoky effect. And as you can see, my brush is it is kind of hard to go in there. The things are really tiny. So I'm just gonna go in this. I'm gonna take this in in my outer corner and just pack it. So basically. I'm just packing this to make my eyebrows, my brow, pen, my brow pencil, to make my um, brow bone a little bit more pop, more popping. I'm gonna take the from the modern Renaissance. I'm gonna take this color right here and um, just pop that on my brow bone, just to give it a a pop. Nice. And I'm taking this just a little bit to give it a nice look. Okay. And to clean up the edges, to make that perfect edge, I always take a makeup wipe and I'm taking the makeup wipe from Neutrogena. And I'm just uh, taking this and uh, cleaning the edges of my of my um my eyeshadow and I'm just gonna give this just a clean see just clean clean it and I'm gonna do the edges and I think I'm gonna add a little bit more darkness into the eyes I mean on the outer corner I'm just gonna add a little bit darkness um, it's fine. Just a little. Okay, so that's, um, this is the eyes, and I'll finish that later. And I'm just gonna work on my makeup, my face makeup, and I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Poreless Face Prime. And I don't, I haven't got another one, so I'm just gonna take my brush and apply Apply whatever is on there. So it's mostly deep in there, and I'm trying to get, get every bit. And I'm just do this, and then I'm gonna get my beauty blender, my booty blender, and just um pat it on in my face. Okay, so I'm patting this all over. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my the Professional by Benefit as well, and I'm gonna apply this with my fingers. Just gonna take a little, a little bit, and I'm gonna apply this over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with this palette. I hear this makeup a little palette. I'm gonna go in with this pink, which I hardly have some. I'm just gonna scrape some out and um, this color, cor color corrector. I'm gonna apply this on my nose, which I still have that pink one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in again with my True Match by L'Oreal and Neutral Buff. And so, um, I'm just, with this, I am going to apply my makeup with the beauty blender this time. It's like, sometimes I switch it on and off, you know, but I, because I want, like, a flawless, matte, um, finish. Like, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. And when I don't want a flawless matte finish, I go in with the brush.
concealer and just con and just go down my nose and do my inner circles my inner circles okay just like so and then I'm going in with the beauty blender and And then I'm going with my banana um, baking powder, which I poured in here because my brush didn't go in there. And this time I'm gonna take, I don't know if I should take this one as well. Or the, okay, I think I'm just gonna go in with this brush right here. It's a flat brush. And just bake under my under eyes because they do crease. My end. I'm going in with my bronzer. Bronze up my, bronze up my skin, get my skin, and I am going in with the Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer, and I go in. I'm going with the fan brush for my bronzer just to give it a nice sharp look, and I am getting in there because, like I said, its pigment is not as pigmented, so I am gonna go in there. And I try to find my voice cause I'd lost it after years and years of self love Bake underneath the contour as well. Not a sharp bake. Try to believe one day I could remember I can't seem to hold down a lover, a lover. The same contour. I'm just just this off because I don't want that to be too pigmented, like too sharp. I'm gonna start baking powder up here, so I'm just gonna <clears throat> get a smaller brush. I'm gonna go in with this brush. I'm gonna just get all of this. It's like a little cup And just go in and tap it in the skin. I want to dust it off, I just want to tap it into my skin. Mm. So I'm going to do the, I'm going to smoke out my under eyes. Just smoke it out. And I'm just going to go in with that. Smoke it out. I'm just going to go in with this black right here. But I'm going to use, uh, I think I use this flat brush. So I'm going to use this flat brush right here. It's a little it's flat and it's kind of puffy, but it's gonna get in there very well. So you know what? No, I'm gonna to smoke up my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the the cypress color from the Modern Renaissance and just get it in there. And then I'm gonna go using that dark shade from the the Milani dark color right here. Going in there later. So I'm just gonna smoke this out and I'm gonna make it closer. I'm just gonna smoke it out. So I'm gonna let them. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Taking it all the way in. I'm connecting it to the top, the top line. Just okay, and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, this dark shade, and um, blend it in with I'm going to tight light using the Estee Lauder 
um, trip color intense khaki liner. I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder intense eyeliner. I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna do a wing eyeliner because I can't do it on camera. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. I'm gonna come back. I'll have to do that. So I did the wing. And I'm just gonna apply this blue on the under eye in the center. I tried to believe one day I So I put um curved it. So I put some of the blue on my under eye. The waterline. Just for it could give it a little bit more color. I thought I got spilled. And it cracked. You guys, it fell and it cracked. Wow. It's okay. It's okay. You can't take it. Okay. So I put some under my, um, some of the blue on my lower lash, on the lower line. My lower lash line. So I'm putting the lashes. So I wanna I wanna learn how to put falsies on, but I haven't found like a good pair. Like I need to really learn how to put falsies on because I feel like they do make a big difference. And I feel like my lashes are long enough, but they're not like they're not thick enough. You know, like they're long enough. They are long. But they're not big to give a pair on. Illusion, illusion of falsies. So I'm just curling my lashes with the, with the eyelash curl. And then I'm gonna go in, like always, I'm going in with a mad lash from the bottom. Oh, this one doesn't smell. The benefit one does. Um, I don't like it, and I feel like if I See, it doesn't give me that illusion of make it close up. Let me try to make it. Let me try to make you guys close up. Okay, so I'm doing this, and I feel like, like I said, like my lashes are long enough, but they're not like thick enough for it could be um looking like falsies. So I really want to learn how to put on falsies, and I'm really gonna get a pair so then. Um, I have to show you guys to do makeup with false lashes and all this stuff. And I'm kind of excited because I'm trying new stuff now and I really like it and yeah. So now I'm going to go in with the Benefit The Real. Is that a Benefit The Real? The Real. <laughs> and it's just like a tip like this. Like the tip is kind of spark. Like so. So I'm just gonna apply this as well just to make them look a little bit fuller and longer. So yes, I don't apply lashes because I'm kinda I feel like I'm scared but I want to try something new too. So let me know in the comments down below. Because we'd like me to try one uh, and I'll probably make a video of me trying them on. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna just to make Okay. So then, I'm gonna finish off the face, and I'm gonna be using this rose shade right here, this light rose shade, and um, I'm gonna apply this on my cheeks because I feel like this light rose color is gonna go in with the blue. So I'm gonna apply it on the apples on my cheeks and. on my nose and I'm just gonna con I'm just gonna go in with the pot of fits and I'm just gonna like control my nose. Okay. And then for the for the inner corners I'm gonna apply this the shade right here in my inner corner on my lid, my eyelids. Go in with this 
a dual brush and it's a I'm going with this one in here. And I'm going to throw this on my inner corner, which is too bright in the inner corner. That is too bright in here. It does make a difference. So, I feel like what? Okay. Oh, and then I didn't play mascara on my lower lashes, so I'm gonna play the same one by the Benefit. By Benefit, they're real. I'm just gonna play it on my lower lashes. Just to make this a little bit more of a. I'm gonna exfoliate my lips with using this um, Indian Beauty Butter Clean um, Exfoliating Lip Scrub. So I'm gonna use this, just a scrub, and it's a really buttery. This, so I'm just gonna exfoliate them just to make my lips look a little bit more um because I feel like they're chat. So my lips are chapped, so I'm just exfoliating my lips, and this actually helps. Um make your lipstick or your lip stains or your lip product more um nice and visible and I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off with the towel. Um highlight. I'm not gonna make it like a much of an intense highlight because we do have an intense eyeshadow and I don't want the um highlight to be intense but I am gonna spray some on my little while a setting spray on my brush and to make it just and I'm just gonna I always go in with this color because I feel like the rest of the colors don't really go like they're not much of a pigmented color and they don't look good on my skin so I'm just using lips I'm gonna go in with my wet and wild which Got, like the words got away so I can't tell you guys exactly what it is and um yeah so I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild and line my lips and then I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D um this is in the this is Noble this is the shade Noble okay this is the Kat Von D and this is in the shade Noble so I think this will like a light look will go in it and I was looking at earlier that this look is kind of what Kathleen Knights did in her New Year's Eve New Year's I think New Year's Eve or New Year's video New Year's Eve makeup she did this kind of blue look but she added glitter and um I'm gonna spray my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So, I'm just gonna spray it. Ooh. So, this is the finished look that I created with the Milani um, Runaway Eyeshadow Fashion Runaway Eyes Fashion Shadow. And this is the shadow, and it just broke. And I will link this down below on the description bar for you guys to see this and um, try it out for you guys yourself. Try it out for yourselves. <clears throat> because it was the first time I actually tried it, like a bright look like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating this look with you guys. And if you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and want to watch more of these videos. I mean, want to see more of these videos. And if you guys do, please comment down below what else you guys would want to um, watch. And thank you. And I love sharing these great ideas with you guys. And bye.